Nothing. Nothing. good at like comparison videos product videos my mind goes to like hacks and tips and tricks and I fall very short when it comes to project based videos as far as coming up with the ideas that's where Becca is Becca's phenomenal at that so last night I was like Becca what's my live tomorrow and she just whips out this cute little picture for me she knows pictures help me so if she put a text a mile long on what I could do I wouldn't get it but if she sends me a picture I'll be like Okay, so we're going to be making a super cute little ruler print planter with some wooden rulers. It's going to be so cute it's and so cute. perfect for those of you who are getting ready to send your kids back. Or if you've already sent your kids back like me, um, send the gift anyway. Yeah, and then we have wooden rulers. I got them at Walmart. These are the like Walmart school brand pin and gear. They were like 30 cents a pop. Yeah. I've got a skewer which could be thinner beggars can't be choosers here um i have a self-healing mat and a box cutter because i'm gonna cut these with my hand becca would use a miter saw if she was up here only because it would be really quick that's all that's the only reason she's insinuating that i'm gonna be slow no no you're young and spry, and I just don't have the patience for it. Young and spry. It's actually going to go a lot quicker. While you were in the bathroom, I did two. Oh, good, good. Not saying she was in the bathroom a long time. It was a, it was a quick trip. I may have said. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say it. I'll say it. I mean, you did do your whole Brazilian wax for a flock talk this weekend. I, did. I said, Rachel, if you need to go to the bathroom, go, because I'm about to blow it up. There you go. And that's just the type of relationship we have. Yep. So She ran in there so like I her pants like, were on fire. Well, because if she was like, I need to go, <laughs> yeah. I know how that feels. No, it was like, sweet. It did was I have very to sweet. No, but I, I, could, I could. Yeah. So I did. Um, Self-healing mat, box cutter. I also have a ruler. Now, this isn't really to measure. This is more of like make a good steady right. so that I don't right. slice my hand open and then we're just rushed to the ER today. Um, I also have a pair of pliers to cut my skewer because pliers with the little wire cutter on the end of them are super great for that. Right. Hot glue, Lynn Lily is the only way to go. Um, she's hot and ready, like a Little Caesars pizza, hot and ready. Uh, I have some jute twine. I have a sanding block just in case some of my edges aren't very good. Uh, that I cut. I have a Cricut pen. We have a Cricut Maker 3. You can use any Cricut for this, any Cricut, or die cutting machine for that matter. Uh, we have a piece of cardstock on a mat, and we're using a pen. This one is the red pen, because um, we're going to be drawing a little flag to set in our little planter. Um, that's it. It's super easy. The design space design that I made today is super easy. Use basic shapes and a font, and we're just going to draw it, have the Cricut draw it, put this whole thing together. It's going to be super easy. It's going to be adorable. It's going to be adorable. Okay, so let's go ahead over to, to um, design space. Um, Hold on. Becca, when is your – oh, it's, it's on Flock Talk right now, Diana. It is over on the website. It is also shared on the private Facebook. Great question. Are you talking about my waxing yes. appointment? Uh -huh. Yep. Who wouldn't want to see that? Right. Uh, so I took a basic shape, which was this one. Or was it this one? It was this one, I think. Oval. Stretch the oval out. I actually got another basic shape, which was this one down here that says pennant. And I turned it sideways so that I could kind of measure round about where I wanted my uh, text to go. Because if you're doing something like this and you don't have like a guide, it's a little bit difficult to know like where this is going to fold on my skewer. 
So doing this kind of helped out a lot. Popped my text in here, super easy. Uh, we're gonna change that from a basic cut to a pin. If you want to, you can pick your pin, but really it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't, doesn't really matter choosing a color unless you, you just want to. Uh, okay, so now if I went ahead and clicked make it, look what would happen. So it's going to put this and this on two separate mats, and I don't want that. Yes, Becca? Sorry to interrupt. Can you use the new thick markers with the Maker 3, or is it only with the Venture? You have to take the – I know you have to take the adapter thingy out of clamp A. Where are they at? They're in that top drawer over to the right. No, 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 the top drawer of the – but over to the right of the top drawer. Uh, let me help you, Rachel. Oh, they're up here? No. This is the right, though. This is. Huh. We would have sat here forever and not gotten that. That's okay. The only reason I'm asking is I think this would be a really great project for it because they're so thick, it might actually fill that in for you. We got the new. Rachel's opening them now. If you don't want to use them, don't use them. I'd rather die. I'm kidding. I know. I don't care. Um. We got the new thick markers, and I'm wondering if, I don't even know. I assume they'll work. Look how thick they are. They're thick. Can you pick, can you pick it? I don't know. 2.5. 2.5. Oh, yeah, no. you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. No, go back up. It said 2.5 marker. Yeah, sweet. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, don't do that. Not the project. This is not the project. Not the project for it. If it were bigger, it would work. But I'm, I'm glad to know that. We'll they, test these. They do work on the, on the maker, yeah. That answers your question. Okay. Uh, anyway, so if you go ahead and click make it now, it's going to put it on two separate mats. We don't want that. So we're going to go through here and attach these together so that when we click make it, it'll go through here and do everything we want it to do. So. We're good here, we're gonna click continue. We're gonna to connect to our maker. I always plug it in. This is doo -doo 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 -doo, heavy cardstock. We'll just leave it at heavy cardstock. Pressure default. We're gonna load air pin into clamp A. Let this draw, cut. And then all we gotta do is like a s cut and assemble this thing. So this will be a great live to ask some questions. There's yeah. gonna be some repetitiveness going on. It will be a fun one. It will be a fun one. Thanks for the idea, Becca. This uh -huh. is super cute. Also, uh, one of my most favorite back to school teacher's gifts, Sunday school teacher's gift, someone who you know but don't know know, as long as they don't have any allergies. One of my favorite things to do with your Cricut is going to the Dollar Tree, buying a mug, filling the mug with candy, getting a cellophane wrap, okay, something like that, and then coming home and putting some vinyl on that mug, maybe their name, maybe their, you know, like a dog, if they love a dog. You could even do a print and cut sticker if you want to do something like that, but that's another one of a very foolproof gift idea with, with your Cricut. It's already done. Do uh, many drawing. in the chat use the Cricut to write? I tried once and it was a fuzzy fail. So, uh, honestly, we don't use it a ton. The Cricut what? The, use the Cricut to, to write. Use oh, the pen. Yeah. We don't, honestly. It's easier to print than cut. And, and specifically with this project, I probably would. But we just like to use the feature sometimes for those of you who also like it or just want to see it. And then for something like this, I would also recommend, because it is like technically a kid's craft, yeah. I would have your kids come hand in and draw it. it. Yeah, Same. hand write it, draw it themselves. Or you could do something like this and then have your kiddos color it in. That would be a cute, uh, a cute thing to do. Let me go over here and see what you guys are saying because we're done with that. Sweet. We'll scooch this up, get that out of my way for a quick minute. Uh, here is our skewer. I don't know what you call it. I mean, it's a dowel, technically, but it has so many different purposes. Because I know people use them in cakes to like stabilize it. You can like use uh, you can make a giant cake pop with them. 
That would be fun. Uh, who doesn't love a giant cake pop? I got cake pops from Walmart the other day. A cookies and cream too. one, thinking it would be like the Starbucks one. And I took one bite and spit it out. Not worth the calories. It was very disappointing. Not worth the calories. Becky says, I use the writing feature with this Cricut all the time for my scrapbook pages. I love using my Cricut to write, is what Penny said. Kat said, all hell to Stacy who shared that Amazon link to the HTV Rant white sub sticker paper. I also... I need to add that to our Amazon storefront now that it is back in stock. Yes, thank you, Stacy, for sharing that. That's just one of the amazing perks, being an Oakland Land member, when things like that come back in. Our members are so diligent to let everyone know. It's really nice. I love it. Okay, Becca. Do we want two wide or three wide? Three. So we want it this wide? Yeah. Okay. And then for some reason, I mean, I know it's, it's, it's for a reason. But some of these have the, because the, this is plastic, okay? This is like a pl piece of plastic. Oh, it's not wood? That has been, well, this is wood. Okay. But the numbers is like a, a little sheet of like vacuum sealed plastic. Oh. And the plastic is sticking out on some of these with the cheap ones. Mm, but I true. found that when I was test cutting these, this kind of wants to peel off at the end. So don't worry about those right now. We'll worry about those later, uh, if they're even in our way later. And I think I'm going to make it four inches tall because I kind of think that's a good height for this. So all I'm going to do is hold this here at an angle at the four inch mark. It's nice because, again, everything is, everything is already um, me measured. It's, it's a ruler. So I'm going to go ahead and score that a little bit and go in here with some press. Now, I'm not using a crazy amount of pressure. Cutting it a couple times. And then you can crack that bad boy just like that. And then you have a nice little edge here. You can get your done. I think having that hard edge that you're using with the quilters ruler really does help i uh, agree to start out with for sure so there's Ugh. one done so we just need a couple more of these now becca i'm thinking well what do you think because see the bottom has like two holes here yeah so should i just use one cut per one and just keep doing it at the four inch mark i would change it up Change it up? Yeah. Okay, so you're I cool with like cool. the two holes down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that also means, guys, if you didn't know, that you need to, one, two, three, you need to make sure to use a faux plant or to make sure your plant is in a pot because you can't right. fill this thing with dirt. Correct. It ain't going to work out. No, it ain't. Now, if this happens, it's easy. I mean, you just take it, a couple more slices. Stacy said, it's funny, Becca, Russ had just asked me about making a sticker for the truck but didn't want to use printable vinyl, and your video pops up next day. He still doesn't have a sticker yet. Stacey, isn't that how it goes? You know, the people in your life don't get it. Um, oh, cut that. <laughs> right. <It's> too little. <laughs> Wait, no, was it this one that I needed? No, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Look, I'll just cut it here. Poor Mark doesn't get haircuts um, from Anna. It's just, just the way it is, right? It's the way it is. Mark doesn't? Until like last minute or like they have family pictures today and he still doesn't have a haircut. Who's going to cut it? Uh, she's going to cut it. It's just always last minute. Like you don't want to, the last thing you want to do is cut someone else's hair like at your house or something after you've worked all day. You mean like when Anna cut mine last She uh, doesn't mind you though. July. Yeah. See, you all don't think that's weird? Like, people who, who do their profession, right? But they have favorites. They're like, well, I, you don't count. I'm like, do I really not count? Like, really? If y'all know me, you know these ain't going to be perfect. Uneven for the win, okay? Uneven for the win. So this yes. is all repetitive. They're worried about your fingers. Don't be. I'm what some people call a professional. <laughs> Who would call you that, Rachel? Um, my mama. <laughs> you keep 
teasing me with your mom, by the way. Like, you're like, I think mom's going to be there. And I'm, like, really excited to be around her. And then she backs out. Isn't she the worst? Pretty bad. I know. Y'all are just like two peas in a pod. I'm doing these decent, I think. They might not be perfect, but that's okay. You want to make two of those? Not live. Right? Yeah, my daughter's a hairdresser and I can barely get a blowout in the evening. I put her through school and gave birth to her, I assume you mean husband. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. Back when we've been in the high 90s up to 107 since I got the paper, still have at least three more days that hot, not turning on the heat press. Oh, my word, Stacy, That sounds miserable. We've had really bad storms here. Right? Did you have them? Were they, were they bad where you were? No. I'm telling you, this morning was like, like crazy. Like as soon as it would lightning, it would thunder, and it was constant for probably 30 minutes. Y'all see this piece of plastic? Yeah, that's crazy. That's what's on these. <clears throat> yeah, Dad. If you didn't know, guys, my dad is the supervisor at an electric company here in town, and every storm, real. I mean, the supervisors get called in. And he is such a good person. He never likes calling someone in, like, other than himself. So he always goes. And every and we've had lots of bad storms. He's just, he keeps going in. So be sure to be a little extra thankful for the linemen and the warehouse workers and Absolutely. everybody through the storm. Because while we get to huddle up at home... They have to get out in this mess and try and stay safe. What I like about doing these at four inches is you also get three out of one of these, which right. is nice. So easy. Okay. I think I'm almost done. It's actually beautiful now today. Mm -hmm. Sunny. Guys, we have a new food truck in the parking lot. Gourmet hot dogs. You know I'm all about that. Which, you guys know I'm picky on my hot dogs. Picky meaning not picky. Like I want, I want a hot dog. I don't like an all beef hot dog. Why? I don't know. Okay, Becca. So I've got like that's the front, that's the back. Okay. And I just need two in the middle, or three in the middle. Is this a perfect square? What? A Did you do the sides already? Well, that's what I'm saying. Almost done then. These are going easy. Becca, you need to you need to like apologize to me because this is going so quick. I'm pretty sure mine would have already been put together. <laughs> this is a well, you're trying to redeem me because I did the the no power tool project. Uh, you know, I don't with need, a power tool. I don't need you to to validate what I'm doing. <laughs> Or why? <laughs> you don't know why I'm doing this. Rachel and I used to love each other. Past tense. Yeah. Becca was right behind me in the Dunkin' Donuts line today. And I didn't even know it until you pulled away. Why didn't you pay for my order? I didn't know you were back there or I would have. You know, like that whole pay for the person behind me order thing? <laughs> Which always ends up biting me in the butt because it's like a $40 order. Oh, my Lord, I know. <laughs> Mine would have already been put together. Yours is looking good, though. Oh, don't don't start now. Don't start buttering me up now. Rach, you know me well enough to know I don't suck up to people. 
I know that. Poor Jason is case in point. Mm. Honestly, you'd think they've been brother and sister their whole lives the way they fight. I accidentally butt dialed him yesterday and I texted him. I was like, sorry, butt doll. He said, don't let it happen again. I said, you know, when you say stuff like that, it makes me want to put a reminder on my phone so that I'll text you or I, I'll call and hang up every 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say don't let it happen yeah. again? Okay. There's three for the top, three for the back. Three for the side, and then, okay, I got one more, people. Actually, no, I don't. I forgot about my testers. Your tester. My testers. Okay, now we just get to hot glue this together, which is going to, oh, no, the bottom. The bottom. Oh, no. The bottom. Is your hot glue gun one? Yeah. I'm going to glue this all together first. Okay. Make me a box first is what I'm going to do. So I'm just gonna glue these with no rhyme or reason. If they end up being, like I don't want them to be like too matchy or too unmatched, like I'm just gonna let it go. Right. Who doesn't have a Lynn Lily? Who has one, who doesn't? You gotta have one. Gotta. Gosh, I love it. Now, just saying, I would definitely do um, wood glue or something along those lines, uh, but well, honestly, for life, I think this will work good. I'm you just could doing also a very thin line of hot glue all the way down. Now you got to work quick with hot glue too. Yeah. If you somehow wanted to stabilize it, you could grab some craft sticks or popsicle sticks and put like a support on the back or something, mm -hmm. and I think it would be. I mean, I think it's going to be fine like this, but you could definitely do that, too, with hot glue. Penny has a LL, a little Lily. Ooh, ooh, I like the abbreviation. Me, too. Loving that. Lynn Lily. I still remember the day that I got, I think Becca was there, that we got sent the Lynn Lily. <clears throat> we were like, <laughs> A hot glue gun. Those were a dime a dozen. We got all kinds of those. And, and then, then we ended up ordering like, I don't, I, I we, wish I had We knew. must have kept Lynn in business for a while. I wish I knew how many we've ordered. Dozens. Dozens. He's so cute. If you didn't, couldn't tell, I'm just making the panels first. And then I'll go back. And glue the panels together. Work quick. Did I mention that? It dries quick, so work quick. But don't let that, like, overwhelm you. This one did not get a lot of coverage here. I'm going to open her up a little bit. Get a good bead in there. Okay, Becca, I got a question. Yep. What's your least favorite task to have to do as an adult? Like an adulting thing. What's the worst? What is it? What what just gets you going? Mm. The thing I put off the most is cleaning bath like deep cleaning bathrooms. <sighs> Like you know deep, why? deep cleaning. Because your face is in the toilet when you're scrubbing around it. And uh, I always end up coughing, like, you know, I'm spraying the stuff in the shower uh -huh. and then I like inhale. It's like a whole thing. And I, you got to get down and get the baseboards because if you're a woman who uses hairspray, you know, that sticks to everything. So the dust is like coated in some sort of finishing Dunk. spray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I like, I'll wipe things down at least once a week. But like to deep clean a bathroom, I'm going to put it off. That you got to put it off. Yeah. I put it off, too. I mean, I don't mind, like, the little toilet wand thingy, you know, like the yeah. superficial, yeah. the disposable. Yeah, I, that's fine. Yeah. In fact, I probably need to deep clean it right now. I did it. I did it three weeks ago. I'm Once a month isn't bad. I'm Once trying to good. stay on top of it. Yeah. You know, I bet if everyone was honest with this next question... We, you know, like, you can't lie. Nobody lie. 
How often does everyone wash their bed sheets? Come on. Come on. Be on. Mine's about once a week. Sometimes it goes a little over a week. Um, I worked with a lady who changed hers every single day. Every day. You know, I'm sorry. I have a quality of life. Uh, well, she was an older lady. Okay. And okay. she owned the tea room that I worked for. I did the dishes at a tea room. That was one of my first jobs. The tea room? The original tea room. Not this one. The original. Really? Yes. That's precious. Yeah. It, anyway, loved That's it. Precious. I actually did love that job. Um. Anyway, yeah. She changed her sheets every single day. That sounds a miserable. Fresh sheets every day would be a huge luxury, but then you have to do the laundry. I feel like That's I live in the laundry. Well, unless you have like six sets of sheets, which who? I have who? three right now, and normally only have two. I have I have two. I'm trying to find some good sheets that I love that are deep pocket sheets because my kids are in my bed with us in and out, you know, just watching TV, playing, doing whatever. And if they're not good deep pocket, then they come off and it drives me insane. So that's what I'm trying to uh, to do right now. I'm telling you, Becca, those Biltmore ones are the best. I know. I need to try them. I haven't yet. I love my Biltmore sheets. And you guys know I don't really splurge on a lot. Those Biltmore sheets. If I could find a sheet that felt good to me and stayed on, I would. I don't care. I would pay more for it. Which and, and they last. They don't start balling up. You know. See, they, that drives me insane. They don't start, I've never had a... a that do that I like them more. to feel cool. Yes. And like smooth. I like a high thread count. I really do. Because I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to that. But I don't You know. deserve to be. I just love. I love being cozy in my bed. And so I want it all to be super wonderful. Kohl's has the best deep pocket sheets. Tracy, what brand are they? Are they Kohl's brands? My black lab makes me change them weekly. Otherwise, I honestly wouldn't care and would do every two or three weeks. Megan, I had a great Dane when Wayne and I first got married. We had a great Annie. Dane. And, oh, my gosh, she was the sweetest. But same way. They shed, like, like labs, and she slept in the bed with us, and it was awful. I used to – honestly had to – our walls in our house at the time were textured. I would have to also mop the – wall, like, dust mop the walls because she just had hair everywhere. She was Joe sweet, though. Becca shows me, used to, you know, when I first met her, she was letting me watch the kids grow up through pictures and Amy with Bex. Because mm. she was like a gentle giant. Like, you know, she was huge, but, oh, man, she was so sweet. He would lay all over her. I mean, she she was like a doofy dog. Mm -hmm. She was so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Well, this thing is absolutely adorable. I'm really liking it, Rach. It's adorable. Really like it. Okay, we got to make a bottom here. Okay. Which, we just need three more slats that are four inches. Yeah. So. And they can be, did you measure them? You you want a little bit of overlap, right? So they actually don't need to be four inches. Uh-uh. I gotta cut this plastic off. It's killing me. That's so weird. I know. Now it'll allow me to do that. This is my pin. I need a pin. pin. This is smart. This is smart. Is it? You think? Yeah. I don't know, Becca. Only because you don't like the lines on rulers. That's why I think it's smart. And by don't like them, I mean you don't use them. I pretend like these lines aren't even here. She sometimes likes a half inch. Sometimes. Quarters are very iffy. Quarters yeah. are iffy. An eight. No. Yeah, what I is, don't see mom on here. An eight. What is that? Yeah. You know? I said something about a 30 second one time. And she's like, huh? Oh, oh, oh. And then I'll basically laugh. And I'm like, that doesn't exist. Well, most crafters rulers don't have them. I mean, it... Uh, who who needs who needs to? Uh, I know. Nobody. I know. You don't need 
to measure people. Just get, just get your pen out. And she said the description she's talking about on the coal sheets reads the big one extra soft sheets. Uh, let me look at it. The big one extra soft sheets. Woo! Easy there, Togger. Oh, they're reasonably priced, too. Hmm, I'll check them out. I think our Walmart, or our Walmart, our Kohl's actually has some in store. Yeah. Cute. Thank you. Thanks for the recommendation. We're also, in honor of Becca, going to be adding jute to this. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Love. You know what would be cuter? <gasps> Somewhere I have ribbon that is a measuring tape. That's too measure typey. Well, what else is teachery? Apples. Red. I don't, I don't have any apple ribbon, Rachel. Well, then what are you good for? <laughs> Did you say bread? Me? Yeah. I said apple. What'd you say after bread. that? Bread. Oh. I've never Te been a teacher, good old, but... Good old teachers and bread. I do like bread. <laughs> teachers and bread. They're wood, Penny. Ow. Hot glue's hot. Oh. We could sublimate some apple ribbon. You are right. Could sublimate it with the teacher's name, too. Ooh, that'd be cute. Mm -hmm. That'd be real cute. You know what else would be cute? Hmm? Bread. Bread. <laughs> I do love bread. Speaking of bread, I went to Olive Garden Sunday. Hadn't been in forever. Did I ate you? three pieces of bread. Ooh, well, it's delicious. It is. I get, um, I just get the salad, uh -huh. and then I get the five cheese marinara and breadsticks. That's yeah. all I get. But FYI, I mentioned to our sweet server that Fally had a allergy. milk allergy. Yes. He made bread that didn't have butter on it. Like, he went back and had no, them. He yes, he did. He went back there and made bread for her that did not have butter on it and brought out the garlic salt, and she dipped her bread in there. It was the sweetest thing ever. Like, if you want to win my heart over, do something amazing for one of my kids. Right? Like, I would much rather that than you do something for me. It just will melt my heart. Be nice to my kids, and you've pretty much won, won me over. That's cute. Yeah, it's a door. Should I like glue this in here? Uh, I mean you can. We have a plant that sits in here. I wonder. What about that one that's on the? Like here? Yeah. Will it fit on in there? Oh yeah. No. No. He's close. He's close. I don't know if mine would either. Oh, <gasps> he'll fit. Perfect. <laughs> Quinn again is so cute. Are we overhead? Yeah, no. It's so cute. He's cute. That turned out adorable. Oh, I didn't put the G on that. You forgot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't look at that. <laughs> rewind. Re rewind. I gotta put the jute on there. Wait, what about like a red ribbon? Do we have any? I mean, I don't want to derail your project, but it's you just, are. It's not going to pop. You're derailing as, it. It's not going to pop as well, right? You're going to derail. You're derailing it. Do we have red ribbon? Just bring that whole thing over. I'll do what I want. That blue would be okay. This one? Yeah. Hang on. I mean, red would be better. Didn't you make me go to Walmart? No, that was that was yarn. That no, it was thread. Yeah. <laughs> For your birthday. <laughs> because. You're ridiculous. Now, I, I wasn't going to ask any questions either. 
You didn't. I wasn't going to ask any questions. Have <laughs> I used that red thread? No, I have not. It would make a cute pencil box. I can never tie pretty pretty bows like this. The bread there is dairy and egg free. My daughter eats it. That's actually because Fallon is also allergic to eggs. Why did he make such a big deal about not putting the butter on it then? Like the butter salt stuff. Do they use margarine instead of actual butter? Um, I'm sure they do, Becca. Because it's cheaper? It's a, yeah, it's a huge restaurant chain. There ain't no way they Why use. Why did he make a big deal about it then? I mean, it was really sweet either way. She felt very amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. I think so too, Kat. What? She said, a ruler ribbon would work. I think Rachel is perfectly wrong in this instance. Shocker, Kat. I'm <laughs> shocked you think I'm wrong. <laughs> Flip it over really quick so they can see it. The color is really pretty with it, though. I like it. I don't know. I do like the color. Especially with the yellow flag. Very cute. It's cute. I'm a fan. I like it. Look how good I'm doing on my iced coffee, Becca. You've not chugged it. Guys, do you want to know how many drinks Rachel has on her desk right now? <laughs> we have a Huey Magoose, or Homey Magoomy, as Fallon says it. A Bojo's, Bojangles. Something from Starbucks and this one. Now, these these are at least from two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like la two weeks ago and then last week and all put together. Green ribbon. Green would have been pretty. Um, we need some more ribbon in our life, apparently. I think so. Um, hi, everyone. How we doing? This was adorable. Now, Becca, if you'd have used that miter saw, the project would have been over 15 minutes ago. That's and true. And then what? We would have talked. I don't love that you have an answer for everything. I don't always. Only on simple things. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever told me I don't know. Oh, I'm sure I have. And it's not the know-it-all in her. It's the... Although that's there, too. I've never seen it. Or maybe I'm just... I'm pretty sure I would um, I would jump off a bridge if Becca called me to. I mean, I think that's kind of how it is. Becca could be like, the sky's green. I'd be like, you bet your butt the sky's green. You bet your butt it is. And anyone who says otherwise. Yeah, there's not many people in my life that I would. Yeah, Becca's one of them. When did you do that? <laughs> While we were alive. Um. <clears throat> oh, you put it on there. <laughs> you put it on, okay. <laughs> I thought you were showing me the preview. <clears throat> well, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. I guess the secret's out now. That's a cute font, by the way. I, I agree. Secret's out, guys. Hi, Sarah. My sister. Pooks. My sister's here. Hi, Sarah. Check Timu for ribbon. I haven't checked Timu for ribbon. I need to. I was looking at Timu today for light-up shoes for a toddler because I was at the pediatrician office with Sam and this little girl had the cutest light-up shoes I've ever seen. They did not look like light-up shoes because you know how I feel about those. But Sam kept pointing at them and was super mesmerized. Oh, did Sam point at them? He did. He loved them. He loved yes, them. Yes, Diana. Click the lock button, everybody. It's, it's, it's free to do that. Now, if you would like to support us in the best way possible, that's getting a membership with us. Mm -hmm. Now, the membership gets you not only all of our cut files with the free commercial use license, but we do have some member-only content, such as videos, trainings, how-tos. We also have a member-only podcast. We also have courses. So if you have a Cricut, any kind of Cricut machine, you can master that Cricut super quickly and super easily with those Courses included in the membership, which is amazing. Um, 
join today. We also have a Facebook group. Only members are allowed in that Facebook group. It's most of our members' favorite perk ever. Join today. If you want to join for a year, you get a huge discount. Plus, you can use the coupon code 35OFF to get $35 off your year. Or if a year is just too much, you just don't want to invest in that just yet, you can grab a month for only $9.99 using the code FUN if you win at checkout. You can do both. Okay. Cat. Cat. Listen. Barely, barely anyone knows, which apparently all you guys do now. So yes, I did. I did get married. I did uh, Friday, to be exact. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. She sent me a selfie and was like, oh, "Well, because her appointment was at ten thirty, and I knew she would go no, early." No, no, appointment meaning. <laughs> she eloped. We went to the courthouse. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we went to the courthouse on Friday. Our appointment, because you have to make appointments, even when you elope. Uh, it was at 10 a.m. 10 We thought it was 10.30. Oh, I thought they it was 10.30. A, I thought it was 10.30. They sent us a text, a reminder text, it was at 10. And we were like, oh, okay. So, oh, and then after the ceremony, which was two seconds in a, in a room with a lady. Um, we were all walking out, and she was like, do you want me to take your picture? And I was like, that would be great. They were horrible. They were <laughs> so the she wh sends this selfie worst. where she looked a little sweaty. Okay. Yeah. That's because yeah. Jason part wanted to park in a parking garage on the bottom of Mount Everest going to the courthouse. So we park in this parking garage and then hightail it up a flipping asphalt mountain <laughs> to get there and we're <gasps> heavy breathing um he's all right sarah he's the greatest <laughs> he's a good one uh aubrey congrats best okay yes thank you so no i agree i 100 percent agree so, this was the best way to do it i mean just just to throw it all out there for you guys because you know we uh, and just to be honest with you a lot like friends i grew up with extended family no people that still don't know it's not like we told a lot of people that i have friends that don't know close friends they just you know um but we had planned on getting married in march this coming march okay and after making that plan the lord blessed us with the ability to purchase a new home uh, so we went ahead and did that, and the way that things were going, kind of falling into place, it's just like, the, it's both of our second marriages, okay? The, what's important here is just being together. He has a son. Of course, I have Charlie, so now Charlie has a stepdad, and David has a stepmom. And what was important is that we just kind of, we just wanted to get married now. We're like, let's let's do this now. Let's just... Let's, let's be a family, and let's work on this new house we have together. Let's move on with life. So Which Ann and I are dying over. We're so excited. We wanted to move on with life together as a yeah. family. So I came back here to town yesterday, went to the Social Security office, the DMV, so I am legally Rachel Webb now. And, yeah. So we canceled our plans in March, which weren't – they were very loose plans anyways – uh, we couldn't be happier. We could not be happier at all. Not at all. I'm getting texts. What the hell? Rachel got married? You didn't tell me. <laughs> it was Friday. We got married Friday. So. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Right, Kat, I was texting with you Friday. I just checked. You texted at 10, 11. <laughs> we just walked It was out. literally walking out. We just 10.09 is, I think, when I sent back of that selfie of us. I see. Well, because I didn't realize that they had changed, or the, the time was different. Yeah. And so I texted her and was like, 19, Mary, or 19 minutes till you're missing. She was like, like no, that done. was at 10.10, 10, man. I'm out. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> it's done. We're done. And then uh, we went to the house that afternoon um, and opened boxes. Like Amazon boxes. And yeah. then the tried to go eat pizza, and that was a disaster. Then we tried to go eat tacos, and that was a disaster. And then we went, like... <laughs> It's just the most so, low-key fun day. It was like a just, yeah. we wanted to treat it like any other day. Because you can spend 20 grand on your wedding day if you want to. But nothing made me happier than being with Jason and my family and 
our best friends just opening Amazon boxes at our forever home and listening to music and having a great time. I mean, it was a perfect day. It was fun. Um, but yeah, so we got a house. We're, we're still living in Knoxville right now, but we'll probably move into that absolutely stunning home soon. Becca and Anna are our designers. What? We're so thrilled. It's so fun. Hopefully we'll be creating some content for you guys there too. I think Becca went through and did some before pictures. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, things are coming together. It's <clears throat> stunning. Just like crafts. Becca and Anna design things and put things together in a way that I would never put things together, but they are stunning. Stunning. It's coming together really nicely. I'm really excited. Really nice. Maybe a new baby in the future. Diana, no. No, 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 no. I am not pregnant. Uh, and just to be honest with you, at this moment and in the months past, I don't think I want any more children. Now, j this is, I feel like you guys are right in the middle of my marriage right now. Uh, Jason's fine either way. He could have a bunch more. He could have no more. He is totally fine either way. Uh, and I, I'm leaning towards, no, we have a teenager and a one-year-old, and my heart has never been so full, and I've never felt this amount of much peace with um, our path with the Lord. And I don't know. I feel like my life is right as things should be right now. Um Rachel, is your new home in Knoxville? It's actually about 10, 15 minutes from the studio here. So, yeah, so it's like halfway in between. It's a beautiful little middle. And I didn't, I did not sway my hubby to do that at all. He picked it out. Um, well, you want to know the first person who sent it to me? Tanner Bell. Yeah. Tanner was the first person to send me the link for this house. You're sort of neighbors with Tanner. We're, we're not, I'm Tanner Bell's like, who, full circle. It's so funny. Who would have thought yeah. that after everything that happened, and me and Tanner, we text, you know, who would have thought after everything that happened that here we are. It's so funny. Yeah. Chappie says hi. Hi, Chappie dude. God, I love Apparently, it. Chappie was clapping for the occupational therapist today. Stop I'm it. I'm sad because I wanted a video. Like, his little chubby <sighs> fingers. Oh. So no, he's just, guys, his toes are literally, oh he's my, so cute. I don't know how he can walk he's whenever so he does cute. walk, I don't know, his feet, they're just so stubby and so cute, but let me know if you guys have any questions, maybe about the craft, sorry, if you guys didn't know, the craft is over, here's the craft, it's over, it's adorable, it's adorable, it turned out cute, it's adorable, thanks for the idea, Baba. anywho, We'll be live on Thursday. We'll be live on Thursday. Um, we're going to film some content for you guys. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for all the love and support throughout everything. You guys are the best. If your kids aren't in school yet, if they are in school yet, this is still a really great little teacher gift idea. Super cute. I love this. So make it for your teachers. Have the kids write on this. That'd be super cute. There's a lot of ways you can customize this. A ton. Thank you guys so much. We will see you Thursday for another live.